This is Courses You Need to Play. My name is Cameron, and today we're doing a quick hole-by-hole -hole run through of the North Course at the resort at Pelican Hill down in Newport Beach, California. A couple months ago, we went there, and it was just an unreal experience. After we got checked in, we had to be pretty quick because we had a tea time there in the next 30 minutes. So we headed over to the range, got some shots in at the amazing practice facilities that they have there, and then it was off to hole number one. Doesn't get much better than that. Hole number one starts you off with an incredible view of the Pacific Ocean that lingers with you throughout the rest of the course. Nice work, gents. Here on the green of the first hole, you can see us using our new even roll putters go, that we got go, that go, morning. Go, uh, shout on. out to even roll. Hey, Moving on to hole number two. It's a par three, just real quick, over this little canyon. And surprisingly enough, I think all three of us ended up hitting the green on this one. Man, I remember these greens. They were so, I don't even know the best words to describe them, but they were so pure that like the grass was just in immaculate condition, perfectly cut. It was just amazing. And then on hole three is when my driver started to go downhill. You can see that I was not very happy there. Oh no. So far, not the best start with my driver. It happens. I switched to just going three wood. Yeah, moving on to hole number four. This one was a little deceiving. Since we hadn't played it before, we didn't realize that it was a slight, yep. it, it turned slight wow. left. And I hit a monster shot that I thought was, it was probably my best shot of the day. Sure enough, it went too straight and over the edge into the crap. So I had to drop the ball here. But luckily, I saved myself with a pretty nice shot here. And again, just, man, these views, you either get them looking at the hole or coming away from the hole. And you just, if, yeah, if you don't see it, you should turn around because you'll get an amazing view as you do. On hole number five here from the green, you can see actually Newport Beach at the, the city itself. And it, again, I can't say enough how many great views you get on this the golf course. Side note, our tea time started around 12.20 and I think it was probably the perfect time because you get the sun at all different points during the round. As we're coming up here on, this, so this is hole number eight, but we're gonna be coming up here on hole number nine, heading to the back nine, the, the sun starts to go down and there's gonna be amazing views of the sunset, keep watching. This is hole nine, you gotta be careful hitting driver here because it, it gets really narrowed down in the little gully there. Um, and so you gotta be very accurate with the driver. I lost my ball, but I believe Bo and Noah were able to find theirs. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it off to Noah and he's gonna run you through the back nine. Okay, let's get into the back nine. The first thing I remember thinking is the views could not possibly get any better, but they absolutely did. Here's us teeing off on the 10th tee. Uh, the ocean's on our back here, so, so you can't see it, but you can kind of see it here with Bo talking. He's referencing, I found myself in a bunker here. So the back nine did get a little bit more narrow, now throughout the course, you kind of weave your way up and down closer to the ocean and uphill as you get farther. Um, here you can see us making our way back down as we get closer. The par threes on this course were all incredible. Everyone was so much fun to play. Come around. We're in the same spot, Cameron. Pelican Hill was definitely hilly. There was a lot of undulation and not a ton of flat lies. If you missed your fairway, uh, the ball was going to be below or above your feet, most likely. So this is hole number 14, and it was my favorite hole of the entire course. Wait until you see the views from the green on this one. This one was a relatively forgiving fairway and gave you the perfect approach shot to have an opportunity for birdie. I have to say my overall favorite thing about this course was the fact that every green had an incredible ocean view. It seemed like we were putting on the water almost every time we were putting. Now there wasn't a ton of water hazards throughout the course, but hole 15 was one of the few that did. Again, just more incredible views when you think you haven't had enough.
I know Cameron mentioned that we started around noon and I have to reiterate that was the perfect time to get this beautiful sunset finishing up on hole 17 and 18 coming up here. I felt like I had to have my phone out the entire round here because I just wanted to capture all the views from every hole. On hole 17 here, we had our best photos of the day with the sun setting uh, just barely over the Pacific there, walking up to the greens. It was the perfect time of night to finish up. The pace of play the entire day was perfect. We never ran into anybody up until this last point, but I really feel like it was because of the views and kind of had caused a hold up with people waiting and taking pictures because it, it really was an unreal experience. Because it was getting dark and we were pushed for time, we met up with another foursome ahead of us uh, and we played as an eightsome to finish off, which was a really cool group of guys and it ended off the night on a high note. That concludes the hole by hole for the north course. Be sure to stay tuned and subscribe because we're going to be doing a part two of the south course, which might be even better.